I know people get all worked up about genetic alteration of animals for medicines and so on, but I'm not really interested in that. Just imagine this baby with fluorescent fur. It can be done. The process of living with it would be the real artwork. GA could be an amazing new vocabulary for artists. And we shouldn't just leave it in the hands of a few scientists and politicians. It's just a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? I mean, it's okay if they don't suffer, or they just use kind of like vermin, like rats and mice, but I think I draw the line of bigger animals, but, you know, we already do things like eat them, so... What's the difference, really? You know what I mean? I think it's totally weird, mucking around with animals like that. I mean, they're even making pigs more like humans, so they can use their organs for transplants and things. I've heard about this farm, but they're actually making pigs look like humans. <sighs> Well, art's all about exploring new territories and pushing back the boundaries. I know some people think animals that glow in the dark are cool, but I think that's a bit frivolous. Taken to its logical conclusion, artists could invent whole new life forms. It just seems really arrogant and dangerous. Leaving aside the big issue of how animals' minds suffer, what would it do to us as a society if we started changing animals like that? I think animals are just incredible as they are. Leave them alone. I don't think you can look at genetic alteration as an art thing. It's scientific development. Without science, it just wouldn't be possible. The animals we genetically alter must suffer. How can we imagine that they don't? I bet you can't even always tell beforehand what it's going to be like for the animals that have been changed, or whether there's really any benefit for us or for the environment. And as for art, it just doesn't seem right. People should wake up to what's happening. The RSPCA believes using genetic alteration to create what's called living art promotes the idea that animals are mere commodities and humans can do whatever they like to them. This is completely inappropriate and unjustified. We believe there should be a critical evaluation of the real scientific need and justification for creating each GA animal and all alternative approaches must be fully explored. Animals should not be created just because the technology exists. Genetically altered animals are used in many areas of research, for example, in studies into how different genes work, and in research on cancer, cystic fibrosis, multiple sclerosis. The technology to produce them involves surgery and other invasive procedures that can cause them pain, suffering and distress. It is highly inefficient in some species and can be very unpredictable. Large numbers of animals are generally required and many lives are wasted.